According to a survey by uh, Business News Daily, American workers are logging more hours than ever. An average of 50 hours per week is not unusual as many continue to work after they leave the office. Our next guest has introduced legislation for a standard 32 hour work week. Joining us now is U.S. Representative Mark Ticano of Western Riverside County. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure. So talk about this bill and how it might address things like full time status versus part time status, health care benefits, overtime pay, some of the, the fine points that people may be asking. Well, you know, currently the Fair Labor Standards Act uh, under the wage and hours provision uh, says that, you know, standard work time is 40 hours a week after which you earn um, one and a half times uh, overtime pay. Um, that has been the law since uh, the 1930s. Uh, in the New Deal, um, my uh, bill would simply amend that act and say that uh, 32 hours now constitutes uh, straight time uh, and you start earning overtime pay after 32 hours. Basically, we're saying a full work week is 32 hours long. I think a lot of workers would say that sounds good to me. Uh, unions are supporting this bill. But in the past, bills like this or uh, proposed measures like this have drawn criticism from chambers of commerce. Business owners say, look, the government shouldn't tell me how to run my business uh, and it'll increase costs in the long run, not just for them, but for consumers. How would your bill address those concerns? Well, look, my bill can't address some business owners who simply resent even the 40 hour work week or resent a minimum wage. That's what the Fair Labor Standards Act does federally across the country is it sets minimum wage standards. Um, I have supported a minimum wage of $15 an hour at least. Um, we do not want to return to the days uh, of uh, people working way in excess of 40 hours a week. Um, what this bill does is it's responding to, I think a deep reservoir of um, of desire among Americans and indeed workers across the globe uh, who believe uh, that uh, uh, they need a better work-life balance, they need to take care of their health better, uh, they need to spend more time with their children. Um, and uh, many experiments across the uh, world, including uh, most recently Iceland, have shown that 32-hour uh, work weeks or four-day work, work, work weeks are no less efficient or no less productive uh, than the five-day work week. Uh, and so this could be good for business as well. It could also help uh, businesses uh, save on overhead. Um, they have a much happier workforce. Um, and uh, we show that there's no uh, diminution of productivity. Is there bipartisan support for this bill? And is is it realistic during this time when we're you know still in a pandemic, the workforce is still struggling under COVID-19? Well, I think uh, it is realistic. Uh, bipartisanship will really is driven by ultimately what the public believes. I think that there are people across the political spectrum uh, who have lived through uh, a pandemic, seen uh, over 600,000 of their fellow countrymen and countrywomen uh, die, and, and, and yet still more uh, who you know, endured a tremendous suffering People have reflected during this pandemic on just how precious time is, as well as money. Um, well, it, oh. this idea. We lost you for a second there. While we have you, you're chairman of the House Veterans Affairs Committee. Uh, I want to ask you about the, the, the proposal for $18 billion to modernize, modernize VA hospitals. It was dropped from the latest version of the bipartisan infrastructure bill. Is there a way to get that back? You know, I'm not aware of the $18 billion being dropped from uh, the infrastructure plan. It was always part of the reconciliation ah. uh, negotiations. Um, so there, there might have been something that was in the, you know, the, the, uh, you know, the $1.2 uh, trillion infrastructure package. Um, but I, I've been reassured that uh, that we're still on track for the original request from the administration for $18 billion, uh, and that's slated for the reconciliation um, okay. uh, re budget resolution. So uh, I'm looking forward to you know marking that up uh, once we get that resolution passed in both houses. All right.
Appreciate you being with us this morning. Thank you again. Uh, Congressman Mark Takano represents Western Riverside County. For more information, you can follow him across all social media.